Okay, Pam, we're just going to do a quick audio check. If you would let me know if you're able to hear me. All right, awesome. We're going to go ahead and get started with this part two webinar on BYOC for the teachers. And in this part two, what we're going to be addressing today is the topic and learning targets for teachers. Last uh, webinar that we did last week, we addressed how to create a course and get a course description entered in. And then we talked about the unit creation with the uh, unit description, the essential understandings, the essential questions. What we're going to do today is move into the realm of developing the targets which fall underneath the unit, or excuse me, the topics which fall underneath the units and then developing those learning targets. Sometimes people refer to learning targets as objectives. So we're going to go ahead and get out into BYOC. So let me stop sharing this right here. And we are on the admin, admin side of Build Your Own Curriculum. Just a reminder as administrator. your one wanting to do Create information. Got to go, go to this location. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And last week, Kellen created an English class. This week, we're actually going to just jump into an American government class that we had created uh, a, a few months back. I'm going to. I'm a little more comfortable with American government than I am with, uh, with a reading or a language arts class. So we're going to jump into this American government class. Now you can see that we do have the course description built into here. And underneath the course description, we have any additional information about the course. And we had developed two very simple units underneath this um, course. I'm actually going to go into the forms and functions of government, which is this first unit here. And when I come into this unit, I underneath have add a topic. And this is where I can go in and begin to build 
what items do I want to address in this unit? You can see with the unit description, it says the students will analyze and evaluate the foundation, structures, and functions of our U.S. state government, as well as the local, state, and international governments. So I'm going to click on Add a Topic. And my topic uh, name may be one of those um, forms of government. I might want to call it the Judicial Branch. It helps if you uh, love the spell check. So I've got my ju Judicial Branch, and maybe I'm going to spend three days talking about the, the Judicial Branch. So I can enter in three. Remember from last the last webinar, I can click on this drop down and I can select if I want three periods, three hours, however I'm going to differentiate my time, I'm going to uh, enter that in. And then with my topic description, I might type something in here like um, students will investigate the um, aspects of the judicial branch of government. And once I have that in there, that's, that's all I need to input. And I click on save. So it's saving it. I've got my nice green banner up here at the top, which means I'm good to go with my judicial branch. Now, if I wanted to, I can just drop down here and continue adding additional learning targets. So, you know, it's built in that if I wanted to, I could create one for the executive branch and for the legislative branch. But for the purposes of, of um, time, what I'm going to do now is come up to this quick navigate. I'm going to go to my course page. I'm going to go to my units. I've got my forms and functions of government. You can see it now expands out to topics. And I have my judicial branch. So I'm going to turn this over to Kellen now. And he's going to talk about entering in learning targets and the three, three ways that you can do that. And uh, so Kellen, take it away. All right, thanks, Chris. Um, so Chris mentioned um, the topics for the judicial branch for the forms and functions of government. So just a quick reminder, we're in social studies. The grade level is 12. The course is American government, and it does say pending behind it um, because this course is not finished yet. The unit is forms and functions of government. Our duration is nine weeks, and the topic is the judicial branch. For that, we're going to spend about three days on that, and that's teach. That's a, there's a little bit of teacher independence there, um, saying if it takes longer or maybe they're going to spend more time, as Chris pointed out, using weeks, months, hours, or maybe even different periods throughout the day. Another thing to notice is if you look over on the left hand side of the screen, you should see the BYOC, uh, the triangle icon. Notice that the topic is highlighted. That's the level we're at right now. So I'm going to scroll down. We're still on the topic page, and we're going to assign a learning target. A learning target is m most people might know them as objectives, or um, maybe I've heard content standards, or um, there, there are just a wide variety of synonyms uh, for learning targets. But we're going to use the learning target to serve as basically the objective for the lesson. So the language you'll hear us referring to from now on for objectives will be the learning targets. Learning targets should be written in student-friendly language. And it's what you want the students to accomplish by the time they're done with this specific topic. Uh, so what will the students be doing? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on New Learning Target. And that should pop up a new screen. Notice nothing has changed here with Social Studies, 12th grade, American government. But notice now, once I hit New Learning Target, now the Learning Target, the LT icon, now that is highlighted. So the learning target, we want to write the learning target for this topic, the judicial branch, in student-friendly language. There are a couple examples of ways to write learning targets. For example, the students will. That is student-friendly language telling the students what they can do. Another way that we have seen um, learning targets written are I can statements. 
But for the purposes of our demonstration and how we'll choose, uh, we are going to use the student's will or the student will. Um, so for example, the student will identify the components oops, of the judicial branch. An extended description. Now this is what we want them to do. We want them to identify the components. So what makes up the judicial branch? We might um, have here the court system. The students will identify the court system. Uh, judges, hearings, um, etc. Anything we want the student to actually do with the with the topic of the judicial branch, we can come down here and put an extended description. We can also tie in an assessment, whether it's a formative assessment or a or a summative assessment. We want to make sure that the student um, we test that somehow. Maybe it's just a classroom discussion. So I might put classroom discussion. Uh, it could be a graphic organizer. Uh, it could be a quiz. Um, there's a wide variety of things for the teacher to use to, to assess the students on whether or not they can identify the components of the judicial branch, whether you're focusing on the court system, judges, the process of electing judges, hearings, um, etc. So how are you going to assess? This, these boxes are here. And once again, I believe these boxes are uh, have a capacity of 25,000 characters. Not necessarily you will, won't need that many, but they do have the capacity um, for a large amount of text. Also, another thing that you'll want to bear in mind here is that if teachers already have this information created in a Word doc, they can do a copy and paste um, into these various boxes. They may lose some of their formatting, such as boldface or bulleted items, but it's, you know, it's, um, we can expedite the process if they have already have generated, created the materials. And that's an important point. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel twice or do, the, do twice the amount of work. Copying, pasting does work in, into here. So if I keep scrolling down, notice I'm still on the learning target page. Uh, none of our information has changed. I have plugged in my learning target. I'm going to actually come up and I'm going to take this out. So I have the student will as my learning target. I'm going to come down here to the middle, and here's where we can attach the standards. The department is for social studies because that's the department that we're working in, the class we're working in. We have Nebraska standards, default strands. We can talk about any strands. So let's say I want to just, just look at the civics. Um, forms and functions of government is under the civics branch, so I'm going to just hit civics here. If you were working in a different part, notice the strands separate the social studies standards. So I'm going to hit civics, and that should just pop me up the standards that deal with civics. And there are only two standards, so I'm mm -hmm. going to find the one that would best meet whatever I need. So if we take a look at these standards, I'm just going to select this one, just standard 12.1.1. Um, of course, if I was doing this for a real class, I would make sure I would read these carefully. I would analyze um, the indicators to make sure this is the exact standard that matched. Of course, different um, strands will have different standards. And I'm going to come down here and hit Save. Now, underneath, notice it rerouted us back to the topic page. That's where we're at the topic level. Here was the uh, topic that Chris put in. Here was the description she put in. Now, underneath learning targets, here is the learning target. The student will identify the components of the judicial branch. We have an extended description that shows up. And notice the assessment. These are the three items I typed in, so they all showed up. I can even click here to go back if I need to, to show what was selected. I'm just going to hit back. Another link that I can hit is right here. It looks like a, a sideways triangle here. And it will show the standard that you're attached to. It will show that standard. So taking a look at the learning target, and I'm going to minimize this again. That's the topic and the learning target piece. Now we can also do new learning target by standard or assign learning targets. 
So I'm going to click on New Learning Target by Standard. And this pops up the, the, the standards that are available in social studies. Let's say, for example, that um, I'm just going to randomly pick one. This, this one, 12.2.10, um, was somewhat related to the actual a learning target. I can hit Select. And now it brings up to it brings up the whole standard. It brings up the topic. I still have the unit. We still have the course and the grade. I can write the learning target. The student will whatever we need the student to do. Maybe there is an extended description on role of uh, judicial system and taxation. I saw taxation up here, um, so I'm just going to put an extended description. Assessment, uh, we're going to use a graphic organizer, and I'm going to hit save learning target. Now it says add of learning target was successful, so I'm going to click done and back. And now underneath I now have, not only do I have my first standard, underneath I have the student will. I didn't complete that as a full, learn, full learning target, but I do have the description, the role of the judicial system in taxation, and I'm going to use a graphic organizer. If I click again over here, it should this should be the standard that I just selected on the previous screen. So those are two ways to add learning targets. Assign learning targets is if I have previously put in learning targets, I can go click Assign Learning Targets and it will pop up the ones that have been previously put in and it's basically a, a checkbox. Yes, I want this one. Yes, I want this one. And then the process repeats itself of adding learning targets to topics. The, the time that I can think of with assigning the learning targets under given under the, the way that we are functioning with this is if a teacher has entered in a language arts course and the new standards come out, what they can do is take a look at the learning targets that they've gotten created and maybe do some reassigning underneath units because of some shifts that may have occurred with the standards. So that's, that's one way that I can think of, of, of taking a pre-existing learning target and reassigning it somewhere else within the course. So that pretty much covers how to uh, do the creation of a of the topics and the learning targets. I'm going to go ahead and um, go back over here so we can take a look and see, is there anything, do, Pam, do you have any specific questions over what we covered? I know it was kind of fast, but is there anything that um, we addressed that, that you would like to have us review?